amazingly eerie. And it's this stillness that's being captured as well. The heat, primarily. Gothic, dreamy. And it's this overbearing, kind of eerie feeling that it, it gives. And you see us kind of existing in the middle of this vastness that is the Australian outback and the Australian landscape. Sparse and dry and hot and, you know, there's isolation and loneliness just in the way it's been shot. Almost overripe sort of quality that something can happen there or something that's happening that shouldn't be happening, you know. Yeah, I love that Australian Gothic idea. I guess the strangeness of the landscape and the harshness of Australia and its spectral qualities, but it's not like European Gothic and it's not like American Gothic. It's got to do with the nature of this odd, idiosyncratic, harsh, ancient, complex, isolated continent and its very recent colonial history. So that tension, I think, is what's peculiar to Australian Gothic. There's always those classic Australian photos of, you know, farmers gazing out at a landscape and it's like, what are they thinking? And so I think, I don't know, I think that Glitch gives voice to a lot of those musings that we usually just keep between us and landscape. The great job that Emma Freeman, the director, and Simon Chapman, the DOP, have done in realising the script is they've given it a look which makes it quintessentially Australian. It couldn't be anywhere else. When you see it, the story absolutely could be. But when you see how we've put it together, it's absolutely Australian Gothic. Yeah, the sort of creepy idea about it. It's, there's something moving behind the scenes. You can't quite see what it is, but you feel it. Longing and about suppression, and it's about, you know, hiding secrets, and it's about love and it, it's so epic in its scale and, it, and the idea of gothic is also epic in its scale. You know Emma and I both early on found very similar visual interests in the bush and the history of the way that's been depicted and the nature of decay and the nature of small town life. And I mean, a lot of the images that recur through the show, I guess, are our version of Australian Gothic. And even the notion of Urana, which is an invented town, and how we've built what Urana is and what makes Urana, I guess, contributes to our sense of what Australian Gothic is. Something that I love about um, Australian cinema is it's things get stripped back. So therefore, the landscape does become a character um, because it's it's often not a set or it's not imposed or there's not um, something dressed up to look like something else. When it's paired back, it's so intriguing. It's, and it becomes gothic very quickly because it's dark, because there is such history in our landscape and there's been so much, I guess, brutality within the landscape that we understand very quickly through imagery. Odd. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs>